Hello and welcome to this new episode of Brain and Spine Surgery and I am Dr. Jaydev Panchavag. The aim of presenting these uh, neurosurgical cases is uh, first of all they are extremely inspiring for the patients and uh, those who suffer from these unfortunate problems get a lot of strength from listening to other people's experience of it. Uh, Mr. Thade came to us with a, a large spinal tumor and when he came he was not able to walk, he came on a wheelchair and when I looked at his MRI uh, there was a tumor as you can see here. So this is the tumor which is almost filling the entire spinal canal, it is in front of the second lumbar vertebra and uh, this tumor had uh, caused serious disability in him. He was uh, able to sit but not able to stand or walk at that point of time. Uh, he was obviously mentally devastated. Uh, however, we were able to operate on him uh, through neurosurgical, uh, uh, micro neurosurgical uh, approach and the tumor was completely resected and as you can see here, this was the place where the tumor was located and the tumor is completely removed. And today Mr. Thade who is a very famous cinematographer, he is a teacher, he is a professor and a very very well known cinematographer. A pathological report came as paraganglioma which is a benign tumor which means that it is not a malignant tumor. So there is a very small chance that it will recur in future. The take home message from this story is that if these tumors are diagnosed early, though in this case it was not diagnosed early, but if these tumors are diagnosed early and uh, are resected with a good neurosurgical technique, then these tumors can be cured. The purpose of presenting this case in front of the public is uh, to give them hope and also uh, to uh, bring them in front of a very, very brave patient, Mr. Thade. So let's see uh, the story of uh, Mr. Thade. My name is Niranjan Thade. I've been a filmmaker uh, making actively, uh, uh, making films and photographing films. For the past three, four years, I've joined uh, a film school and now I am a professor uh, in cinematography, I teach cinematography. Uh, what happened in my case is that uh, I have been having back pain and various kind of you know sciatica kind of pains uh, for last uh, three to four years and I never knew what was happening. I was uh, trying out various orthopedic uh, surgeons, orthopedic uh, consultants and uh, they were all giving me oral medicine and I used to get temporary relief by that. Then I uh, also tried out some Ayurvedic medicine. I also tried out some physiotherapy which was suggested to me but it would not go and uh, I was uh, uh, not very kind of uh, sure as to what to be, what should be the next thing and around that time something happened. Uh, what happened was one night I uh, uh, went back home and went to sleep. Next morning I woke up and uh, I just could not uh, uh, move my uh, uh, pelvic area, you know, the waist area uh, uh, that was getting numb. And uh, as the day progressed, my left leg started going numb. I thought that uh, this could be something to do with uh, muscular uh, kind of stress and things like that. So uh, one of my doctors suggested that I take some muscle relaxants. I took some muscle relaxants and uh, I spent the day hoping that uh, night when I sleep and next day when I woke, wake up, it will all be gone. Then I woke up the next day with uh, uh, the symptoms going even more kind of uh, severe. Uh, which means my uh, left leg was almost uh, kind of, you know, uh, kind of frozen. The right leg was uh, losing its strength. 
and then I started getting a little panicky. I called up my doctor again. So they said, oh, it uh, doesn't seem to be uh, your muscles. It seems to be the nerves. So they suggested some medicine which was uh, for nerves, relaxation and kind of thing. So I called up the medicine shop. I asked for that and they took some time. By the time it was night, the third morning when I got up, I knew that uh, uh, this was an emergency because uh, uh, the bathroom door to uh, uh, my bedroom is almost three feet away from my bed and I could not walk those three feet. I knew that uh, uh, this was really kind of bad, so I immediately started. I was alone at home. I started calling up uh, uh, my cousins. I called up my students. Uh, they all rushed in. I called up my wife who was in Bombay, so she came down from Bombay. Third morning when I got up, the symptoms had got worse. I could not even move around. I could not walk to the bathroom, which was three feet away. So I called up uh, 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 my cousins, uh, my students uh, who were close by and I said, I need some help, I can't move out of the bed and uh, uh, please carry a key. I told my cousin, he has a spare key uh, and I told my students that come to the window and take the key from me because I could not go to open the main door, it was that bad. And then uh, after everybody came, then uh, I was uh, picked up by two students. I could not move, both my legs were unable to walk. I was picked up and I was uh, uh, taken to the car and uh, I was taken to uh, 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 a hospital where uh, they did one MRI. They said, okay, first we must check out the MRI. And for almost about four, four, four hours, they went on doing some MRIs, uh, tests and things like that. I was uh, 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 kind of flabbergasted. I said, what's happening? Why so long? That kind of thing. And then they uh, kind of revealed that they are seeing something. They went on asking me, did you fall down? There's a lesion on your spine and things like that. And uh, we don't know how that has come. I said, yeah, I don't know. I haven't fallen down. So they said, but we can see things. And uh, then they said, I, it was about 12.30 in the night. So I said, okay, now I need to rest. Uh, you do the rest uh, in the morning. The next morning, they took some contrast MRI. And that's when they uh, told me that there is a tumor inside my sp spinal column which uh, 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 needs to be removed uh, uh, with an emergency kind of a surgery because as such it has started affecting the nerves and you know my limbs had uh, started going, uh, uh, my uh, bladder had uh, stopped functioning which means that I was not being able to pass any urine and, and you know there was kind of complications which were mounting. And then uh, immediate surgery was suggested and then uh, was the question as to who would do the surgery. I started consulting all my friends who were in the medical fraternity and uh, also my senior, uh, Dr. Jabbar Patel, who is also a kind of a medical professional, though he is a filmmaker from my uh, kind of field, but he is medical professional. And then uh, he said that uh, uh, we'll find out the best doctor for this. And after uh, uh, a lot of discussion, it was decided that Dr. Jaydev Panchwag will uh, be the surgeon who would do the surgery because it was not uh, uh, something uh, to do with the spine, but it was something to do with the spinal column, the nerves and things like that. And it was a neurosurgeon's job rather than orthopedic surgeon's job. And then uh, started this whole thing that, uh, you know, when and how and kind of thing. So my wife uh, uh, rushed and met uh, Dr. Panchwag with all the MRIs and things like that. And then he went through it and he said, okay, okay we'll do some initial tests. And uh, I think about two or three days later, he scheduled the surgery. And uh, on 2nd of March, uh, uh, the surgery was scheduled. 1st of March, I met Dr. Panchwag. And I must say something that uh, uh, happened because you know, when I saw him, I kind of felt a certain kind of a confidence. But he, he seems to be a very sensitive kind of a doctor. I said, okay, he's a neurosurgeon, so he must be a sensitive kind of a person. And after I uh, met him on the 1st of March, I uh, got this uh, strange kind of a confidence. And uh, he told me, don't worry. I said, nothing to worry now. Uh, all the worry is yours because I'm going to be lying down there and you have to do all the work. 
And after he left, I told my wife, I said, okay, this man knows his job. He says, she says, how do you know? You're not a surgeon, you're not a medical professional. How do you know that he knows his job so well? I said, look, I've met so many people in my profession. And when I uh, uh, see somebody talking, I know that he knows his job well. And he's totally involved in his world. I had uh, found him totally involved in his world and he knew what he was going to do and things like that. And that was a very big confidence that I got before the surgery. Uh, well, the surgery was done on 2nd of March and uh, I think it lasted about four, four and a half hours. That, that's what I was told. And after that, uh, 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 when I came to I remember seeing Dr. Panchvag's uh, face and uh, he was smiling and he says, Hello, how are you feeling? Do you recognize me? I said, Yes, I recognize you. And he says, Everything has gone well. And uh, later on when I was taken to the ICU, my wife came and said that, yes, he had said that he was happy with the surgery. And that kind of uh, uh, made me feel very good. It was very... See, at this kind of uh, uh, situation, you need to be uh, uh, told that everything is going to be all right with you. That confidence, that positivity is very much needed, which was uh, given to me immediately after the surgery. And uh, one thing that uh, again surprised me in this uh, ICU was that Dr. Panjwak said that uh, the physiotherapist will come and visit you. I said, Ke, hello, and I'm in ICU, not now, and kind of thing. Let me get out for physiotherapy. He said, no, 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 we are going to start it now, and kind of thing. And uh, the physiotherapist came there, and uh, uh, she asked me to lift my legs and things like that. My left leg was, uh, I think, about uh, 3.5. My right leg was 0 upon 5. I was just not being able to move my right leg. Uh, I could only move my uh, thumb. And that's uh, all I could do. Even if I had to kind of uh, move on my sides while sleeping, then I had to lift my leg with my hands and I, can't, I had to turn around. It was that bad. And uh, The physiotherapist came and she told me that, uh, yeah, we'll kind of uh, improve. I said, okay, is there any scope? Is there any hope? And she says, yeah, you will walk out of the hospital walking. And that was a surprise to me. So next time Dr. Panchwa came, I said, okay, this is what she said. So he said, uh, if she said that, then she'll make it do it. And I wasn't very sure that, you know, when the leg is not being able to move while lying down, how am I going to walk? And that's when I think the hard work started. I said, I'm ready to put in any kind of hard work that is uh, required and uh, I was very kind of particular about taking the medicines, the diet, the physiotherapy, twice uh, a day was the physiotherapy and uh, there were stitches and things like that which was I think being taken care of. There was some uh, pipe, tiny little pipe, there was some drain I was uh, told which uh, was to be removed after 10 days or something. So with all that I was going through the physiotherapy. And uh, I think that is what uh, 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 was, you know, very, very kind of uh, positive and recuperative for me. Together with uh, Dr. Panchwag's continuous visit, Dr. Savita's continuous visit, and, you know, I used to tell them, I had this problem, you know, like, uh, 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 I'm feeling very uncomfortable. I had constipation because of the, you know, kind of uh, the waist area going numb. There's no sensitive there and kind of thing. Of course, there was a kind of a uh, Foley catheter and uh, the bag that I had to carry around was very uncomfortable initially and kind of thing. But then one got used to it and one went on uh, uh, doing that. And on the fourth day after my surgery, I was standing on my feet. I uh, had uh, tears rolling down my uh, eyes. And uh, uh, the physiotherapist asked me, why are you crying? I said, okay, these are tears of happiness because I wasn't expecting myself to stand, you know, because uh, I couldn't stand when I was brought in. I, I just couldn't move. My legs were not moving. And on fourth day after surgery, I was made to stand. And uh, of course, I cried. And uh, then the session was over. And uh, the physiotherapist told me, Okay, come tomorrow, we are going to walk. And I was jolted, you know, I was jolted that 
how come they are doing this? And uh, uh, no, they did it. They, they made me walk the next day, of course. Uh, people were holding me uh, 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 from my arms and somebody was holding my knees so that they don't uh, buckle and they made me walk uh, slowly and slowly. I was here for 19 days after surgery. I was uh, admitted on 2nd of, uh, no, I was, the surgery was done on 2nd of March and I was discharged on 19th of March, that is seven, not 19, 17 days. I was uh, 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 in the hospital and uh, uh, day by day I could see the improvements happening and I think after about 10 days uh, or 15 days uh, the stitches were removed and uh, uh, that was a big relief that okay I was thinking that you know I'm now going to get back to being normal and of course that's what happened and uh, on the 17th day they said okay, okay you can go home there's some physiotherapy that I had to do at home and things like that I went on doing it for about a month not month about 40 45 days I went on doing it and uh, well today uh, 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 this is about four months now and uh, I can walk around confidently and I just have a walker for a support and I'm sure in about 15 20 days another month I'll be back to normal I must uh, thank Dr. Jaydev Panchwak uh, for the support that he has given, for the confidence that he instilled in me, for the uh, 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 very intricate uh, surgery that he performed. I think uh, my wife told me after the surgery was very, very tired, but then uh, he had a certain kind of a glow on his face and he said, I'm happy about uh, the surgery. So uh, uh, he must have put in a lot. It was kind of a, a very delicate uh, kind of a situation where, you know, the, the tumor was on uh, the spinal column. And I must thank Dr. Jaydev Panchwak, Dr. Savita and his entire team uh, uh, who have taken care of me. I would also like to thank the entire physiotherapy team who kind of pushed me, pushed me, pushed me to stand up and walk uh, so that I can walk now. Thank you very much, everybody. And uh, I think that's what Dr. Panjwag had earlier said uh, uh, before the surgery, that I said, how much time after surgery? So he said four to six months maximum and kind of thing. And this is four months and I think everything is getting over. So I think by six months after this complicated major surgery, I'm going to be back to normal. And I hope to run.